Hey, so I've been playing around with getting rid of the thread in that I originally told you to build in Brick Breaker. And part of the reason I did that was because it's such a common part of... I've watched many different game tutorials on YouTube and stuff trying to pick, uh, figure out how to do this. And it's possible, and I think it is true, that uh, more advanced games use threads all the time. But for simple games, we don't need to, and it's frankly, it's confusing. And because it's unnecessary, it doesn't make sense because you don't see the utility in it. So I'm going to take it out. And... Uh, this is a more fleshed out class, so don't but don't worry about it. It's just got fields uh, that I describe in later videos, entities. Um, but the basic stuff is still here. So our class still implements runnable. I'm just gonna take this out. So delete implements runnable after so it should just be public class game panel extends J panel. And then under uh, or run, we don't need this to be an override because it's not overriding anything. And instead of run, we're going to call it play game. Uh, and then over in BB main, we don't need this thread at all. So get rid of it. Uh, we don't need to start the thread. Just after we set the window to visible, um, let me just kind of clean this stuff up so it's easier to see. Uh, so we make new ones of those. So after we set the frame to visible, we need to start the game. So the game is running on the, the panel. So you just do the panel dot play game. The panel dot play game. And if we do this, and this is going to be a later version of the game, um, I'm just going to show you how to fix the one thing quickly. So if we if we run this now, you'll see Oh no, that worked okay. So I thought we might have to tell the thread to wait, um, but we didn't. So uh, if you want, and the game is starting too quickly early on, right at the beginning of the play game method, you might need to have uh, to just tell it to wait for a second before it starts playing the game. Um, we don't have like a start menu and stuff like you would with an actual game, so we're just going to say tell this to start for 2,000 milliseconds or two seconds um, before it starts running the game loop. Uh, and again, you won't at this point in the tutorials have all this stuff fleshed out, but uh, just so you know, if you would like to slow it down throughout the rest of the tutorials, this is you just need to do a try thread dot sleep 2000 and this thread if you're confused as to wait I thought we took all the thread stuff out this is the thread that's like already running in the J like the Java swing and J there is a thread there's like this main thread uh, that is just like your program so you're just telling like your program the whole thing to sleep so there's already one thread created you just don't have to create it uh, and that's the thread we're referencing here we just say please wait for two seconds so um, you know, that just gives it a little pause at the beginning, two-second pause of black before the game just starts, uh, just to let people kind of uh, catch their bearings or something. Okay, that's it.